Hello, Archie Dunlop here with Talking Astrology with Archie. And it is Saturday, October the 14th, 2023. And I'm going to give you my I Ching forecast for the week starting on Monday, October the 16th, 2023, uh, which finishes on Sunday, October the 22nd, 2023. So this is my forecast for the week starting um, on Monday, October the 16th. And as always, um, it starts with a question. And, uh, you know, my question is, um, what is the coming week, starting on Monday the 16th, um, going to be like for people visiting this video? And, you know, it's very important to realise it's your choice. Uh, if you don't want to be part of this forecast, uh, if you don't really want to consult the I Ching, you can just go. Go. You don't have to watch the rest of this video. You're not. You're not. Um, you're not committed to it. So it's. It's because you know when you're doing any form of divination or any form of an oracle, it, it has to come from your own free will. You have to make the choice. Oh, I. I want to. I want an answer to a question. Uh, I want to know what's going to happen. If you don't want to know, then um, the oracle is not going to speak to you. Uh, that is the way. That is the way it should be. Um, and what I do is I, I throw three coins in the air, um, and uh, I see what happens. And uh, this uh, this reading is structured as follows. I start off with a general interpretation um, of um, the I Ching uh, for the week ahead. Then I look at um, money, then career, and then relationships. So, um, having thrown three coins in the air six times, uh, asking this question about what the week ahead is going to be like, um, I got the following hexagram. I got influence. Hexagram number 31. Um, this is the idea of people taking notice of us, us being able to have an influence on the people around us. Um, in the Wilhelm translation of the I Ching, it has in parentheses the words wooing. So there's certainly a a romantic connotation there. And it, it does seem that many of us are in a position um, to start having an influence on the people around us. Um, we might even think, we might even actually think we're having an influence in, um, you know, over the coming week. We might, be, we might be really sure that we're having an impact on other people. Um, but we may be wrong there. Uh, it's all very well to want to influence people, but yeah, it's quite possible we're we're not really having as much impact as we think we are. Now, reason being is that this first line moves, and it's all about movement. In fact, um, an alternative a translation of this hexagram uh, by Greg Winkup is it's not influence; it's about movement. And we see movement right at the beginning. Um, and this movement um, starts in the toe. So we can move our toe. Um, that's great. We can move our toe. Um, but uh, does that really amount to something? So if you see a sleeping body and you see the toe moving, um, OK, sure, it's a, good, it's a sign that there's life. But what else? Um, you know, you can't, you can't walk on with that single toe. That toe is just not good enough to um, really create massive effects. And so, yes, we're having, there's some movement, but it is, um, 
you know, it's um, very low key and it's actually not in itself enough to get anything done. Um, so all these ideas that people are listening to us and that we can make things happen, not necessarily. We just haven't quite got what it takes. We're not, we're all, it's almost like we're not awake enough. Um, and so that's, that's, that is the problem. Um, you know, this is the very beginning. Yes, we, we may be at the beginning of a time when we can start having an influence, but it is only the beginning. Um, and at this stage, we're hardly noticed. You know, people hardly notice um, who we are and what we're doing. So we do, we do have to recognize that. Now, this hexagram, it moves because the first line moves. Um, and it moves to revolution, hexagram 49. Um, and, you know, that really does tell us that, uh, you know, things were stagnant. We weren't really getting, we weren't really making an impact. Um, and then we have a revolution. That suggests that something has to change that everything has to be turned on its head, that the existing structures aren't good enough, that our existing ways of doing things are not good enough, that uh, there has to be change, um, you know, there has to be, there has to be leadership and maybe that leadership has to come to, has to come from us. Now, revolution is not about being destructive, it's about the system regenerating. And so, we have to kind of regenerate the system. It's just not enough for just a toe to move. We can't do it gradually. Um, that's that's not that's not the way it can happen. We have to we have to we have to be quite sudden about it. And so that is something that is something we really have to we have to work on. We may have to impose ourselves ourselves on a situation. Um, you know, we may not always be welcome. Our views may not be welcome. But nonetheless, we've got to go there, say our bit and force people to take notice of us, even if they think that uh, we're being um, obnoxious. Now, as far as um, money is concerned, um, it's a kind of a similar situation. Um you know, we certainly have big ideas about money. We probably want more money. Um, we um, we feel that uh, if we could just get our message across, um, people would recognise our value and um, give us what we deserve. But uh, we're not going to get the money we're looking for. Um, you know, why why should anyone give us extra money? Why should the universe provide us with extra money when we're having, when at the moment we're having such little, when, when we're having such little impact? Now that is a toe. There's movement. Yes, I suppose if you want money, you at least have to start by having that basic desire for money. Yes, there's movement. Um, we want to improve our financial situation. Um, it's not good enough. We want more money in the bank. We want greater financial security. And it's good. We've got, to, we've got to have that basic desire. But that basic desire on its own is just simply not going to do anything. Um, and uh, so we have to, um, we have to push things um, a bit harder. And really, if you, if in terms of money, if you really want want something big to happen financially, um, the current situation uh, isn't quite good enough. I mean, it's good because because we're concerned. That's an improvement. It's good because we can see that things aren't right. Yes, that's an improvement. But on its own, seeing as a problem, it's not. It's, it's just not good enough, and we're not making ourselves heard. And in order to really improve things for ourselves um, financially, it's it's a revolution. Um, 
we have to completely um, change the way we the, the way we interact with the outside world it means that we do have to be we have to be more pushy if we want money we actually have to ask for it because you know um people they're not mind readers they they don't really know what's going on in our heads um they're not they're not sort of looking at sort of body language and they don't get what we want they don't get what we need um they actually have to be told so if you feel someone owes you money or you're not being paid enough um no one's no, no one's going to know <laughs> um we don't have sufficient influence to do that we actually have to make make the matter known we have to make it clear you know this is the way it is um and you know the in, in terms of a wilhelm translation it says you know the, the other words are something like on your own day you are believed and that's that comes with revolution we are believed our message is so strong that people believe us and it's only at that stage um that we get uh we get the rewards we feel we we feel we deserve now as far as um career is concerned um it's um it's kind uh it's kind of a similar picture um in the sense that we don't have a lot of influence to begin with although we realize that influence is important um and because of that um we have to be we have to be a bit sort of modest to begin with um it may be about just uh you know taking a job any job you know for example if we're unemployed um you know don't don't think that you can in a big to begin with um reach out and find someone with loads of you know with loads of connections you know no it's it's not going we're not going to have that we're not going to have that amount of influence we can try but it's not going to work we just have to be satisfied um with small gains um and to begin with if you're talking about career simply getting a job getting a humble contract whatever even if it's not paid very well uh, if it doesn't have much honor it doesn't have much prestige that is that is that is enough that's that's uh, that's probably the best we can do in the situation um though uh if you on the other hand if you are in a more sort of senior position it's not about getting a job but you perhaps have your business uh, you're a sort of manager or whatever um then it's a slightly different thing because there is a suggestion um that uh, something does have to change um and it may be actually quite a good time to hire someone um you know we're not talking about hiring someone necessarily particularly spectacular but just um it's a, it's a, it is a good time for hiring people um people who can fill a sort of a humble role and uh, but at the same time make the business um work a lot better and in the longer term um actually improve um improve our influence um but looking looking at the whole situation um with um your career and your plans for the future um things are not things are not perfect um i think you i think to an extent you're stuck in a rut um you know you've got used to working in a particular way you've got used to you know you've got to you're used to seeing your job in a particular way and really as it stands it's it's not making much of an impact um people aren't really listening to you um and i think it may be time for some kind of some kind of revolution it's time for um, this um now that revolution um can work on different levels now it, this revolution may be a revolution in terms of attitude something internal um it may 
it may in extreme situations be a complete change of mind about what what you want to do you know maybe your current career choice is simply not doesn't 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 suit you maybe you should be thinking about something completely different or you know maybe getting some more education um training to so that you can actually do something that you really want to do so that is certainly a possibility uh could be your attitude perhaps you haven't you haven't been um sufficiently assertive i think that is that is a real possibility um so yes you might want to be more assertive um you might also want to consider um the structure at work um i suppose um in, if there are lots of people group of people working there is a hierarchy and uh, some people are at the top of the hierarchy they're the ones giving you orders and then there are the subordinates people underneath having to take the orders um in which case there's something a little wrong with this hierarchy um the person giving the orders um may may not actually be particularly competent maybe they need to be overthrown because it's revolution now i don't mean that i don't mean that literally um but um they perhaps need to step aside a bit someone else needs to be given a chance maybe you're the person to um make the change but um the the the, the hierarchy you're involved in is not is not um it's not working as sort of as well as it should be and there do need to, 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 to does have to be a few changes so if you are, if you're running your own business if you have employees um then there may be a hint there that uh um that does have to be a change but the, the you know people you thought were um doing their job properly and maybe not doing their job properly um maybe they're not you know they're not asserting themselves in the right way maybe they're they're not as authoritative as they should be or maybe they're misusing their authority or maybe they're not being respected enough so consider um the hierarchy uh that might be in your own business um the people you are employing because there's something something not quite right and something is stuck you know we saw that you know if you with um the previous hexagram remember that was influence you know you're not having as much influence over your business as you think you are and um maybe you are being ignored i mean once people get used to behaving in a particular way they just carry on um so that's why you need to consider this this possibility of revolution of sort of overturning things so in terms of career and business and um the the eating today um you get a situation where to start with of course this this is not sort of just about today this is about i'm talking about just just to remind us that we're talking about the week starting on um october the 16th monday moving through to sunday october the 22nd um and yeah it's a time for um it's a time for change but not gradual change just something needs to be overthrown perhaps a sudden announcement you just have to say this is the way it is uh, if you don't like it um too bad then the final area i want to look at um is uh relationships um in many ways this hexagram 31 um is about relationships um influence the wilhelm translation has the word wooing um in parentheses um after it so um at the most simple level if you're if you're single uh and you're looking for a new relationship it's all about how you are um trying to attract someone new um into your life and it's that process of wooing them um um if you're already in a relationship and you're happy in that relationship then i i suppose you're trying to have an influence over 
your partner, your spouse, you're trying to influence them. Um, but the influence, it, it's, it's hard work. Uh, you might feel you're giving off all sorts of signals. Uh, you might feel you're being very subtle. You don't want to say it absolutely. You're giving these signals, but it's not being noticed. So if you're trying, you know, so in terms of if you're trying to attract someone's attention in a romantic sense, no, you're not being noticed because, you know, remember that talked about movement in the toe. That's where the movement is. It's it's it can't be seen. Um, so um, that's not going to work. Uh, hints, subtleties. I don't think that's going to work. Um so, yeah, that's a problem if you're looking for a new relationship or if you're trying to change your partner or spouse. You're trying to give hints that maybe they're doing something wrong. You need to behave in a different way. It's not going to get noticed. And I think, you know, that is a problem. Um, and it could be uh, it could be quite frustrating. On the other hand, you know, this hexagram... 31 is about the beginning of movement uh, particularly that first line is moving so things are changing you, you you're starting to have an idea about what you want whether it's what changes your partner should be making or what kind of new person you want in your life you have some ideas about this so so that is progress um, but it is the beginning of influence so you're not actually being heard and you, the body language is not being seen. Um, the subtleties are just lost on um, the other person. And this, 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 uh, this hexagram thirty-one influence. Uh, it does change, as I said, it changes to revolution. Um, so this is a revolution about how you deal with um, with relationships. So if you're already involved in a relationship. Um, you know, the, the feeling is that things have got very stuck, that you and your partner have been relating in a particular way, and it's just stuck, it's going in the same way, and it's stagnating a bit, and you have to shake things up. Um, that might mean making threats. Um, I mean, I don't mean threats in a sort of um, hostile, aggressive way, but threats, you know, shape up kind of threats. Um and, you know, again, the Wilhelm translation, on your own day you are believed. When you say what you want, when you make a few threats, you are going to be believed. So if you're not comfortable with uh, um, your current relationship, I think by the end of a week, um, you, are, you have the opportunity to be taken more seriously, but you will have to engineer some kind of... Um, some kind of a revolution um, if you're looking for a new relationship then clearly um, revolution says you've got to you've, you've got to change your strategy you can't just rely on subtle clues you know subtle clues and subtle body language you've got to be a bit more um, definite and make it quite clear what you want and um, then you'll be, be believed and then um, there's a chance that um, this, uh, this whatever relationship that you are trying to create. Remember, this first hexagram um, influence is about wooing. So, you know, wooing on, it's you know nice idea, very romantic, but it's not going to work this week. You're going to have to do something a bit more, a bit more dramatic, something a bit more um, revolutionary. So that's, uh, that's the I Ching um, for this week. Um, it's not terrible. Uh, it's just telling you that uh, as things stand, um, things aren't going to move. Uh, you've got used to a particular way of being, whether it's a, in, your, in, in your job, in terms of money, in terms of relating. And this way of being is not really working out. It's just you're not having as much influence as you'd like. And if you want things to change, um, you're going to have to have some kind of um, revolution. Anyway, I hope you found that useful and I will talk to you again very soon.